Bro, I don't care. I'm not trying to dish you. I'm letting you know you that I did not know you existed. Yeah, I did. In recent days, American Palestinian content creators started an online attack against the black community for their stance on domestic issues and for voting for Kamala Harris. Black people also wear a uniform and get on a plane and come to our countries and kill us. You vote the same fucking melanated fucking people to government that signed papers to kill us. I don't want to hear it anymore. What have you done to change your government? I don't think crying on your phone is an example. What narrative are you pushing by showing black soldiers in the Middle East being told that we should put our issues and lives and rights behind everybody else's, including Palestinians? I don't want to hear y'all tell us to put ourselves last. I'm sick of it. The way you all switched up 180 on Palestinians and people who are Palestinian activists, the second we have a black woman, black woman run for office is disgusting. Keep Palestinians names out of your mouth when you're trying to defend your decision for voting for Kamala. I'm starting to see a lot of these videos coming out and I feel like someone really, really has to speak on it. So I'm going to. The genocide in Congo has made eight millions of victims. He's saying Palestinians and he just doesn't listen. This video, coupled with all of the other Palestinians and their disrespectful and denigrating videos towards people like me, I'm done. So the money that was coming out of my bank account every month to help Palestinians over in Gaza, yeah, that's going to stop. And I'm going to redirect those funds to help the people over in Congo. Kamala Harris is 100% more culpable for this genocide than Donald Trump is. You know what, at this point, I will happily take it out of my bio because if that's really how y'all feel as if Donald Trump gives a damn about Palestine, fine, I will take it out of my bio. I will never speak about it ever again. Trust me, I will never speak about it again. Something that has been cultivated in the pro-Palestine spaces. But in the last week, we have seen a lot of folks who have talked the talk about global solidarity completely renege on all the values that they have been saying they stand for. If I bring up like a black issue and someone's like, oh, people of color, I said black. Black, black, black. Because other people of color don't even like us. Liberals weaponizing anti-blackness to defend the US empire, all because they want a token ethnic president, who by the way was an ex-cop. And like what's even crazier is that earlier people were like, oh, these are bots, these are bots, these are bots. No, this is how people really feel. And she made a video. That's a real human being that feels exactly that way. These aren't bots. These are people that feel like they are entitled to the support of black people no matter what. That they get to push us around and tell us who the hell we get to vote for if we support them. As if that means we're supposed to just not give a damn about ourselves in order to show our allegiance to supporting them. They've lost, they've lost their minds. <laughs> you guys keep bashing white people for slavery. But why don't we ever talk about the Arab slave trade and keep in mind that the Arabs have enslaved more black people than the Europeans combined. When it comes to the people who we are supposed to be defending over in Palestine, guess what? Those same communities treat us with voracious racism and you're asking us don't look at them don't look at our racism don't look at our past history and how we've treated your communities help us save us be there for us but guess what when we need you guys no one's standing up for us when we have gone through this oppression for the past 400 years why didn't any of you come racing on boats to come and help and save us it don't take 400 years to get from palestine over to america to stop the genocide that was happening to us for 400 years it does not take 400 years to stand up for black americans and stand in the line of fire with us it doesn't take for you to have simple human decency when your businesses are allowed to thrive in our neighborhoods when they were burnt beaten and torn away from us we spend our money with you we stand in solidarity with you and you keep asking for more and more and more and it's never enough because I don't want to hear oh we was there for 2020 because that was a cute little trend but guess what three months later it was over y'all wasn't bringing down Starbucks and McDonald's and Kellogg